What is up, fish on entertainers and YouTubers? And I'm glad to be back out here on a nice, beautiful day, going to my favorite little honey hole to do some bass fishing. I know it's been about, I don't know, two to three months since my last video. I just want to say sorry to all my subscribers and likers that, you know, uh, things have been busy. I am grateful right now to at least, you know, be working and uh, making some money and paying my bills. Unfortunately, there are people who can't do that due to this uh, pandemic that's still going on. Uh, you know, I just want to say apologize to those who can't work or can't make no money or anything right now. Those who are struggling. But uh, on the other hand, I'm going to my favorite spot, a little honey hole. Hopefully, I can get a bite on maybe a chatter bay, maybe a Guggen uh, vibrating jig. Um, I also got some uh, homemade, uh, what is it, stick worms, you know, that I got. I got a mold, I got a, a four cavity mold, aluminum mold. Uh, I think it's about five inch. Uh, Yamamoto worms, I guess stick worms, you know, whatever you want to call them. And then I got a like a brush hog, that's a two cavity mold, five inch as well. Got got some of those that I made. Um, got some rage crawl mold. I only got one mold in those. That's a stone mold. Um, got a few stuff that I've been experimenting with. Haven't put a video out because. I don't have the space really i'm doing it inside my house got you know windows doors fans going on um you know that's about it so you might not see a video i might just talk about them show them on youtube but i'm probably not going to do a video on it because like i said i don't have the space and i'm doing them in my house and i don't want to really show the inside of my house but anyways, this water is brown. Just looks ugly up here. From up here, it looks ugly. But hopefully, we can get something, man. I've been dying for a fish or something. But as soon as I get there, you guys, I'll be uh, putting some rigs on and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be using for this water I also got some top water stuff too some frogs so all right peace out later finally got a fish you guys fish on uh, finally Got him on the uh, black and blue. Ooh, it's a nice one too. Black and blue uh, vibrating jig by uh, Guggen Squad. Look at them. Oh my God, look at that. Come on, baby, come on. Come to me, come to me. Come to me, come to me. Ah! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at him. Or her. Look at that. Bam. Right there, you guys. Finally got it. On the black and blue Guggen vibrating jig. In the mouth. Look at her. She's a beast, man. She's beautiful. She's full of eggs, probably. Or him, whatever the heck she is. Or he is. But all I know... This is a beautiful bass. Thank you. Now it's time to take some pictures. Oh, man. There we go. She's a beast. Beautiful. Right, let's put them back. Let's revive them. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ready. There it is. There's number one. No skunk for 2021, you guys. 
there it is. We did it. Oh, I see little, little fry and stuff. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? That's some type of bug. Oh, I know what that is. There's one. On the chatter, the vibrating Guggen Squad vibrating jig, man. That was it right there. That's number two, you guys. Number two on the Guggen vibrating jig. Uh, there we go. Number two. And he wanted it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Number two. Man, it just came out. I got to get my pictures, you guys. You know I got to get my pictures. Look at that. Look at his little tongue. Oh, it looks like they've been hitting on some craws. Get my picture real quick. Let me get a good shot. Bam, number two. I can't believe it. Already. Boom. He's probably a little pounder. Got some eggs in him too. Oh, I want to see the color of their eyes. All right, there it is, you guys. I'm going to let them go. There he goes. Two. Number two. And this is the color... That's doing it. Black and blue. Now you see this Kitek right here. Uh, it's not a. It is a Kitek, but it's not because I got a mold for that. But the only problem that I have is the issue with bubbles. I do know what to do with it, but like I said, you guys, I'm not gonna be posting no videos because I do not have the room for it but what I do know is that was number two let's see if we can get number three There it is. Uh, number three. Woo! There he is. He might be small, but hey, he's a fish. Bam! It's number three, and he's been caught before because you see the. Oh no, that was me. Yeah. On the Guggen bait, baby. Check that out. That's number Bam. That came out real easy. They're on fire right now. Something has got them before. You can see. Something got her before. One of those birds. We got these birds here. So there it is. There he goes. 
I'm gonna throw you guys. Well, you guys, uh, it's been a good day today. Very good day. Uh, we started off at um, Gearroy, Coyote Lake. Uh, didn't catch anything there and the water was really really clear you can see um, Real good visibility of two feet uh, Didn't really have the baits uh, The lures or anything like that for that color of water for that clear of water uh, Most of my baits and stuff were uh, black and blue um, trailers like that and uh, Obviously the one that caught me the most fish today was the uh, vibrating jig by a uh, Guggen squad right there so I just want to say um, I, I enjoy it I, I enjoyed it. it caught me three at this small little pond here uh, we'll continue to use it I like the colors um, the trailer is a swim jig a swim bait trailer that I have a mold for it's a single cavity mold. It's a well. I think you guys can see which one that uh, that looks like. I don't want to say no names or anything like that because I don't want to get a uh, sued for trying to say you know this is what that type of bait is. But it is a swim bait. I did make the color. It um, kind of has like a pigment blue in it. And some black flake and a little bit of blue uh, small flake so yeah I don't have nothing bad to say about a uh, Coogan baits um, I don't really use them too much I try to uh, make my own get my own soft plastic you know I use dead-on plastic and uh, I got some molds from angling AI I got some molds from um, uh, swim bait molds from angling AI I also have some stone molds, you know, um, some crawl stone molds and uh, drop shot stone molds, which I'm looking into kind of putting to the side. Those are my, like my starter ones. Uh, if you want the good, good uh, molds, you gotta go with aluminum. Aluminum is the best. So I got some other ones from uh, Angling AI coming over I'm just waiting for that and then I got another one mold coming from uh, BTS uh, molds and I believe I have some molds coming from tackle fast tackle something like that yeah so that's what I've been doing and uh, like I said earlier you guys I'm not gonna make a video on making baits I don't have the room or the uh, best area to do it at um it is what it is what can i tell you i uh, don't have the space for it so i'm not gonna sit there and make a video in my house um maybe if uh, the schools were open and my son wasn't there maybe i'll probably do one but you know since my son's home he is doing his schoolwork online. He is playing his Xbox online. So, you know, there goes that that plan. But I will show you the baits, ones that I make, and um, let me know what you guys like. You know, uh, hit me up, and uh, maybe we could work a deal out. If you see me out here fishing or anywhere, you know, I'm in San Jose. Uh, it is bass season, so I am going to be making some baits, and uh, if you see me, hit me up, and if I have some extra uh, baits, uh, I'll give them to you for free, you know, no problems, you know, if I have them on me at, at that time, I'm not worried about it, I can make them, so hit me up, you guys, let me know, like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, those three made my day for 2021, March 25th the start of bass season so more videos to come hopefully hopefully not so long possibility that you know might be a every month video so we'll see what we can do you guys peace out and uh keep it entertaining <laughs>